Inazuma is brimming with fighting spirit. Great, we're gonna need that. What's going on, guys? Merrick here, back with another episode of our Get Out of Here, Lord Fluff. Our Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Let's Play. The last episode, we busted into the game corner, roughed up a few rockets, and uh, even beat Jesse and James once again. Now we're here to have our first showdown against the leader of Team Rocket, Giovanni himself. Let's go in and... Oh, wait, hold up. First, let's have a quick recap. I think we've uh, we haven't done a team recap in a couple couple episodes. First up, we got our shiny Rhyhorn Gushion, uh, Calm level 26, Whoop. with Drill Run, Rock Throw, Headbutt, and Stomp. Next up, we got our shiny Nidorino Gary Oak level 23, Gentle Nature, with Headbutt, Dig, Thunderbolt, and Toxic. Up next, we got our shiny Pidgeot Horus. He's a level 31 Modest Pidgeotto. With Headbutt, Wing Attack, Quick Attack, and Roost. Then we've got our Modest Venusaur Pro Strats, level 32, with Razor Leaf, Leech Seed, Sleep Powder, and when he evolved, he learned Petal Dance. Then we've got our Hasty Kadabra Mystigan, level 29, with Psy Beam, Nightshade, Teleport, and Kinesis. And then lastly, our MVP, our Shiny Raichu Inazuma, level 36, Jolly Nature, with Thunder Punch, Headbutt, Brick Break, and Quick Attack. We're going to lead with Gushion out of respect for Giovanni because uh, Rhydon is Giovanni's uh, signature Pokemon, I guess we'd call it. Just one look at this Sylph Scope and it's plain to see. Sylph Code definitely has the technology and skill Team Rocket needs to make our wishes come true. Hmm. A machine that lets you see what otherwise cannot be seen. It's nothing but a useless toy. Still, this could do. Carry on, Archer, with your plans to take over Silphco for the Team Rocket. Yes, sir. Oh, so it's Archer. I knew he was one of the admins. What's a child doing here? You listened in our conversation without saying a word? I don't much care for that. I'm Archer, an admin of Team Rocket, and I do not go easy, even on children. Well, I kind of forgot that he was there. Sent out a wheezing. All right, I think uh, I think Gushion can he can handle this. Level thirty-three. Whoa. I still got faith. Dark Pulse? Whoa! That didn't do shit! Alright, Pro Strats! Ha! Laughable! Sleep. Excuse me? Uh, hello? He avoided it again. Are you kidding me? And he got burned. So now that he's evolved into a Venusaur, that's when he's gonna start missing everything. Are we fucking kidding? Maybe four levels below, but that should be the... Yeah. Yeah! Fucker. Send in a Golbat? Nah. We'll stay out here with Alakazam. That was not enough. See? <sighs> this is why I feel like Mystian just isn't... He's not cutting it anymore. Like, he's he hits hard, but... You flick him on the nose and he just dies. Oh, 
I didn't do shit. Come on. All right, since that was a crit, we should live. Are we fucking kidding? Is this seriously how this is going to go today? You know what? Uh -uh. I'm tired of this game with you. You made me do this. Fuck out of my face for this shit you just pulled. F forgive me, Giovanni, for me to be defeated by a simple child. If I don't get to heal before this battle, I was about to be pissed. Alright, so as much as I want to lead with Gushi on, uh, maybe we should not do that. I think we'll lead with Pro Strats. Even though he just severely let us down in that last battle. Get out of my way. What up, Giovanni? So, you defeated Archer. I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. And I am the leader of this enterprise. Giovanni! What? You want me to release the Cubone? <laughs> you came barging into our hideout just for that? What an amusing child. But for your insolence, you will feel a world of pain! You would think you would think that Giovanni would get his own little Okay, the lightning effect was pretty dope. Persian. All right. Level 35. All right. That was a crit. God damn. I like how Giovanni snaps his fingers whenever the Pokemon attacks. Alright, Pro Strats. Don't let me down. There you go. Let's see how much Razor Leaf will do. Not enough. But if I go for Petal Dance and it wakes up, Pro Strats is dead.
Actually, I should have taken into consideration the Leech Seed damage. It would have died on that turn, but it's fine. It's fine, we'll switch out. If I knew all it was going to use a Slash, I would have switched in Gushi on. to send in Gushion. <sighs> Now's not the time. His is definitely going to be stronger and faster. And one drill run might just fucking completely murder us. It's nice to see that he has the Rhyhorn, which means he'll have a ride on eventually. It is somewhat upsetting that he doesn't have a Nitto King or a Nitto Queen, though. Whoa! Good job, Gary! God, that dig did nothing! Oh, jeez. Toughed it out so we wouldn't feel bad. My boy. Alright, so we're going to predict... We're going to predict the ground move. We're going to go into Pidgeotto. Now he's probably going to hit us with... Let's use Roost. That'll heal us up. We'll lose the flying weakness. And so we won't be weak to that rock. That we avoided! Let's see if we can, uh, flinch hacks him. <laughs> Alright, we shouldn't try that again, though. I don't know if Pro Strats would live a rock throw. Let's see. If he lives it, then we can heal him up. And we can pedal dance the shit out of his right horn. Alright then. I have faith in you, Zuma. Alright, we'll go for it. Mascot versus mascot. And our faith could not have been placed in better hands. By a child. Do as you wish with that cubo. And take this as my apology for mocking you as a child. I can see you raise your Pokemon with utmost care, but you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. But I hope we will meet again. Cubo and headed back to Lavender Town. Well, that's nice. Maybe with Silph Scope, you'll be able to find out the identity of that ghost. What do you mean, that ghost? We got attacked by, like, a bunch of ghosts. Oh, you're curious, are you? You're curious about me and this machine. Do you want to know the details? I guess. 
Okay, if you insist, this machine is a great vehicle that allows you to fly in the sky. It's a marvelous invention, if I do say so myself. It's not an exaggeration to say this is a secret technique. Even though I worked really hard on this, nobody wants to try it. You seem to be a courageous young boy. I'll tell you how, this, how to ride this machine, the secret technique Skydash. Oh, that Eevee wants to fly my invention instead of you. Great, it matches my inspiration perfectly. All right, let's get right to it. Do this and that, hold this handle and pull. Then, that will be like that. And with these balloons, you're in the air. Okay, so, Eevee can now fly. You can have this machine, so be sure to enjoy many trips to the sky. Uh-huh. Alright, so we follow Cubone here, and look, there's Jesse. So that's Cubone's mom, huh? That's right. Team Rocket keeps on going after Marowak so it can sell those skulls they wear for profit. I think Cubone is still looking for its mother, even though she's gone. I just can't forgive Team Rocket. Me neither! I saw Cubone heading into the tower a little while ago, too. I'll go look for it, and I'll keep an eye out for that Mr. Fuji as well, the one who's been missing. Thank you, and be careful. I, I really don't like ghosts, but I've got to do this. <laughs> Get out of the way. Ah, Merrick, nice timing. You caught most of that, right? What do you say? You want to come with me? Let's do it. Thanks, pal. It'll be a big relief to have you. I'll just let you lead the way. Cool, is this like having a fucking companion character? Like, is he actually going to follow us? Does not look like it. What a bitch. Totally not how they made the uh, original rival out to be. What is this? What do you want? Are you wanting to fight? This is going to be one of them ace trainers, isn't it? So let's put... Let's put Horus out front. I w want to get to the bottom of this. How did a c c coward like me end up in charge of the Pokemon Tower? Oh, a b battle. Well, I'm kind of strong. Here goes nothing. I guess it would be pretty scary if you didn't have that self scope. But I mean, you gotta know it's a ghost Pokemon, even if you can't see it. And you gotta know it's a Ghastly or a Haunter. Like, what the hell else could it be? A Geodude. She sent out a Geodude. Level 28. It's like we went backwards. ba da 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 ba da ba da 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 Ow! Fuck! Well, that was worth it. I'm kind of getting tired of this Choice Scarf fucking Geodude here. I tremble at your strength. Yeah, her face looks less like she was trembling and more like... More like one of them random anime girls that, after being like an antagonist to the main character, suddenly just develops feelings for him once he beats her. Look at this coward, he's still standing out here. Tired of using items, especially since we were just right there anyways. 
Though I'm kind of pissed she's making me waste this time running back to the Pokemon Center. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. All right, let's go hunt us some ghosts. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters? Do you think there really are ghosts in here? Huh? Merrick, what's that? It's a pair of fucking binoculars that I apparently have to be holding to see these ghosts. The silk scope revealed the ghost's true form! I do not think that was supposed to be the rival. Oh shit, one of them's a hunter. Yo. Whoa! That's crazy! So those ghosts were actually Pokemon! Alright, let's... I'm gonna put Gushion back out front. Just because... Well, now if they're all gonna be attacking with ghost-type shit... I need something that can hit fast. Because they're all gonna have Ghastlies and Haunters. Battle me, bitch! I was thinking Gushion because since there's no abilities, the Ghastlies don't have Levitate, and so they'd be weak to ground types, but... He's also super weak special defensively, so... Yeah, there we go. We'll let Horus, one of the gods of light, shine his divinity down on these shadows of darkness. Battle me. I don't think we'll be able to get to the top of the tower before this episode is over. So I wonder, since they changed up some of the stuff in the game, I wonder if any of these channelers will... Wow, are you serious? It has toxic... Absolute ass cheeks. And Sucker Punch. I would make a ridiculous comment about how is he going to use Sucker Punch with no hands, but after seeing what the Ghastly of Maiden's Peak was able to do, I don't judge. Ghastly can do some crazy stuff. Sorry, you won't live this one. That's one of the things I always found so amusing in the anime is they're like telling Ash, yo, you need a ghost type Pokemon to beat Sabrina. Ghost type's the only way to beat psychic types, which false, you could use bug types. But at the same time, because Ghastly and Haunter, and Gengar too, since they're part poison type, they're also weak to psychic. So at that point, it came down to like 50 50 uh, between the trainer's skill 
and the level of the Pokemon. Of course, and eventually I grew up and <clears throat> I learned that just like in Yu-Gi-Oh, the anime and the actual game uh, does not add up the same way. Why is there seriously a gold ad in here? Whoops. Bitches are pretty creepy. I mean, they were always creepy, but even now, their like expression is still creepy. It has Will-O-Wisp too. That's actually wild. Toxic and Will-O-Wisp. I feel like it's gonna take forever for our freaking Pidgeotto to evolve. Good thing Wing Attack has 35 PP. A Haunter? Uh, you know what? Nah, Horus got this. Got a crit off the sucker punch. Wow. All right, we're gonna go ahead and roost. Heal up a little bit. Yeah, predicting that sucker punch. And then we'll go ahead and wing attack it for the KO. Bitches half look like they're possessed and half like they just haven't slept in millennia. Like, almost like they think they're Gara and they have a friggin. Stop! <laughs> Goddamn Ghastly kept chasing my ass. Did she get stopped from walking up to me because of the, the goal bat? Oh no, Sucker Punch that time. Wonder what it was going for. Finally, that damn Golbat's gone. I mean, granted, we would have just ran into it and then ran away from it, but still. Why 
are some of these, like, gray instead of black? Can we interact with them? Is there a reason? Are they all gonna have haunters from this, like, from here on out? Because that's all the last few have had. Oh my god, will o -Wisp, are you serious? This should still kill. Saw that coming. They all give you the same amount of money and Pokeballs. There's no point in me even healing. There we go. Got another chicken nugget. No, we can't interact with them. Inazuma seems keen on the newfound nugget. Shit, you can have it, bud. Come, child. I have purified this space here. You can rest yourself for a moment. Alright. Zombies? First it was ghosts, now it's zombies. I'm okay with having ghost Pokemon. Let's not add zombies to Pokemon. Let's not... Zombies is... An overplayed, just garbage. It's just garbage. Like, strictly if it's not Resident Evil. And even then, I didn't really care for the movie. So, it's, if it's not the Resident Evil games, like, zombies just. They're just trash. It's just a trash theme. Though, I admit, they were cool in Yu-Gi-Oh. Though we had a lot of cool uh, zombie cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, but... Let's, let's keep Pokemon zombie-free. Alright, so he should one-shot a Ghastly. And then we'll go right back into uh, that purified zone to get rid of that poison. Just gotta hang in there, Horus. Hashtag H I T H. Hang in there, Horus. I think we're gonna finish out this floor and then we'll wrap this episode up because, yeah, we're not gonna make it to the top of the tower. I knew we weren't going to, but my goal was to try and get as far as we could. This bitch has four Pokemon. Also, the Ghastly ruined my theory that they, they all might have Haunters. But that's fine, because I know we'll one-shot every Ghastly with Wing Attack. Let him do a little sucker punch shit. God, looks like we're dueling in the fucking Shadow Realm here. This is 
is some real Shadow Realm gaming. I actually wish I could change, like, choose this background for every set of Pokemon battles. Found an Ice Stone. That would be to evolve. Alolan Vulpix. Which, if I knew where... If I knew where the Vulpix trader was, I'd go ahead and snatch it up. But, by the time this episode goes live, I'll have already beat the game, and I'll have already probably got that Vulpix as well. Hell, I may have even shiny hunted it. So close. Are you kidding me with the will o' wisp? Like, they don't even try to use ghost tigers. Unless it's because the game knows that it won't affect Pidgeot. Then maybe. I wonder if this will be a one shot with the burn. Nope. Damn. I thought they cut burn. That was a crit. I thought they cut burn from 50% to only 70%. Which either that could be the case, or... I don't know. Ugh, oh, if only we could quick attack it. But we should live another one. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed watching us have our very first battle against the Rocket Boss Giovanni himself, or you're excited to see if we can uh, shiny hunt us a shiny Ghastly in Lavender Tower here, make sure you hit that like button down below for us. You know, we appreciate the support. We appreciate all of our subscribers as well. You guys have been fantastic killing it with the support on this series, the Dragon Ball content, all of our content on the channel, and we appreciate each and every one of you for it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and always remember to save your game, because if you were to lose that data, it would be a shame. And we're going to go ahead and get the frig out of here now, so we'll see you guys in the next episode.